In this video, I want to demonstrate what happens when a library exists not only on the Spitfire audio servers to download, but also on the native instruments servers to download via native access. There's only a few libraries that do this in the Spitfire audio range, and I'll list them in this video and also in the description down below. What occurs with this issue is the user will purchase a product from the Spitfire audio site and download it via the Spitfire audio app, so it's installed on the system. And when they go to register the serial number in Native Access, Native Access will offer them the option to install the product again. Now, if the install button is clicked, that will begin the download again and give the user two copies of the library on the system. So how do we avoid that? If we look in my Player Libraries folder, we can see that I have a full download of Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit. This is one of the libraries that also exists on Native Access. So if I go to Native Access and add in the serial number, in my not installed products here in Native Access, I can now see that Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit will show up with this Install button. Now if I were to click the Install button, it instantly starts downloading the library again. And we don't want that because that would mean we have two copies of the library. But if we hover over the library, we get this option to locate. So we click locate, browse, and then we can locate the library folder that we've downloaded from the Spitfire Audio app. And then click install. If you have any further issues with this process, please get in touch with us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.